Good morning, everyone. We are headed to take Ty to his trainer this morning. And I have um, Sonic. Jack's holding Sonic. He's um, a breaker. But we gotta get there in about a half an hour, so hopefully we can make it there on time. I hate when I'm late, but it just, the getting out of the house this morning was a little harder than it normally is. There was a lot more going on. We just dropped off Koi Koi at the office, and while I was still there, he was saying tons of words. He was playing with moon sand and asking for different animals. So they'd say the name of the animal and then give him a chance to say it. And he was saying it. He said like sheep and dog and duck. And it was just so cute. He's talking so good. And he's really come a long way. Like in the last two or three weeks, he's just blossomed and come so far. I'm so proud of him. So it was super cute to see that and I just, oh, I wish I would have had my camera with me. It was in the car. I'm like, why? Why did I leave it in the car? He was being so cute. Um, anyway, we are going to fill up the car really quick and um, go home and wipe it all down the rest of the way. I didn't get to wiping down everything last night, just part of it. And so we're going to do that so that it is ready for my... Um, father and mother-in-law to borrow. Um, I just want to have it all nice and clean and ready for them. It's, it's always nice to, you know, start a trip in a fresh, clean car. That's what I always say. If you're going on a trip, clean your car first, make it all nice and clean and fresh and all the seats wiped down and everything and then it's like more comfortable on the ride. He's working hard at schoolwork. We gotta get all of our schoolwork done. We have about an hour left of work that we need to do. But if we don't finish okay. that. So the beginning of the word is here, and you have to find the end of the word here. So it's a, and then pull is here. So cross out the pull and write pull. And then we'll go to the next one. Apple. And yellow. Yellow. Good job. That's not a hard word. I know. You're just finishing the words, huh? Okay. Yeah. We just finished some schoolwork at home and now we're headed to go get Quick Way from the office. Um, he had a shorter day today. He just had a three hour day instead of the five that he's been doing. Um, but that's okay. It's not a bad thing to kind of ease him back in a little slower. Um, for the week so anyway we're gonna go grab him real quick and then um, we have some things that we need to do this afternoon all right so the boys are in bed and um, I haven't vlogged a whole lot today but I actually have something that I want to talk about um, and I don't want it to come across the wrong way I don't want it to be taken the wrong way and so I'm gonna try and say it um, and hopefully it won't offend people and if it does I'm sorry this is just my feelings and um, as a mom of autism, how I truly feel, and my honest opinion about what I'm going to talk about and um, I, I know there probably will be people that get offended by this video and I'm sorry if it offends you but this is real life. This is my real life of dealing with having a child with autism. It's my real feelings and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There are days that suck, okay? There are days where autism sucks and it's hard and I don't want, you know, I don't show a lot of Ty's meltdowns or bad moods or my giant tornado messy house and all of that in the vlogs because, not because I don't want to show real life, but because I don't really think about it. I just take care of the tantrums or clean it up or try to calm him down or all those things and I'm not like, oh, grab the camera and show the whole world what this looks like, which maybe I should be. Maybe I should show you guys that side, but I'm not. But today was one of those days with him where I wanted to rip my hair out. Like, I was so stressed and he did really good after he got home from training for about two or three hours. Um, he was in a good mood and then I don't know what happened, what set him off, but something happened. He was right and left just destroying things, making huge messes, and like, 
I, he wanted crackers, so I gave him some crackers, and then I turn around, and they're smashed into the carpet, and I was like, oh my gosh. So while I was cleaning that up, he wanted cereal, so I got him a bowl of cereal and then went to go clean it up, and he threw the bowl of cereal on the floor, and it's just been this one thing after the next all day. And so it's... What I want to talk about, I, I know it will probably offend some people, and I'm really sorry if it does, but it's my honest feelings of being a mom of autism, how I feel. <laughs> so if it offends you, I'm sorry. It's just my opinion and the way I feel, and I, I'm i not saying this to offend people, but more to maybe there's people that to give you a better understanding of autism, or maybe there's other moms going through the same situation that just, you know, it might be good for them to hear that they're not alone, and it is hard, and, and, yeah, so, please don't be offended, I really just want to be completely honest about this, and so, I'm sorry if my honesty offends you, <laughs> um, but, sometimes autism sucks, honestly, like, it is hard, and sometimes it makes me just cringe. <laughs> when I hear something fall, I'm just like, oh crap, what was that, you know, and it's, it comes with so many challenges that moms of typical children would not understand. They don't even have a clue. Like, I get comments all the time of people saying, oh yeah, I know exactly what it's like to have a child with autism because I have a friend that has a friend that has a child with autism or something like that, and Honestly, I call bull crap because unless you live with it 24/7 and deal with it all the time, you don't know what it's like. And there every autistic child is different too, so my experience is going to be different from the next person's. And our son is very destructive with his autism. He is extremely destructive. And so it can be extremely challenging because no matter what, he's making a mess. You can be right there with him and he's making a mess. You can get him right out of it and he goes right back to it. And it's this constant struggle. And so, yes, I think autism sucks. And it's hard. And, you know, I, it's not that I would change my child, but there are days where I wish he didn't have autism. I mean, just being honest, yes, there's days like today where I wish autism was not a problem in our life. Um, but... And I'm not saying I would change my kid. I love him for who he is, and I want to see him succeed and grow and and be successful. And and I celebrate those those successful moments with him. The victories and the successes that a child with autism have are so amazing, and they're far and few between. And so it's when it happens, it's this huge like accomplishment, and I. I love those and I look forward to those and they're amazing but it's also sh hard because sometimes they are so spread out and so it feels like you're stuck in a rut and he's doing so good right now he's talking so much he's showing a lot of improvements and and hitting a lot of milestones and being very accomplished but there's still that part that's just so hard and it's so frustrating sometimes I wouldn't change my child and I don't want this to come across that way because I wouldn't I wouldn't change him but sometimes it's hard to see him struggle so much okay sorry my emotions got the best of me there's the hormones and being pregnant is definitely doing that to me um, I guess what I want to say is, you know, would I change my child? Absolutely not. Do I wish sometimes that things were easier for him? Of course. Of course I do. You know, a typically developing five-year-old can do a lot of things, and it's hard to see him struggle to accomplish basic things that, like, two-year-olds are learning, and it's really hard. It's hard to see your child struggle, and, you know, for us, that's an everyday thing. There's always a struggle. There's always something that he wants to do that he can't or that, you know, he gets frustrated with or he's, you know, gets worn out and it's just... Of 
course I would want things easier for him. So would I change him as far as autism goes? I wouldn't change my child. I love him exactly the way he is. But do I wish things were easier for him? Yeah, I do. And, you know, I, I wish that we could celebrate more of those awesome victories that that kids have and all those milestones and accomplishments that they have where with us we're struggling to get a few words out of him or to you know you put your shoes away good job like that's our victories those things those little tiny things are what are accomplishments to us and I know most people it, it's kind of like the you know your kid says dad for the first time and it, you know when they're little and it's awesome but if they're saying it for the first time when they're five you'd just be like wow you finally said it you know but with an autistic child when they say it it is like you want to cry because they finally said a word that a, a baby learns at like eight months old or younger and I know it's it might seem silly but those are big deals to us and it's just, it's definitely um, hard, and so I wouldn't change him, but there are days where I wish that he didn't have autism just so things would be easier for him, and it's, maybe that's just me being selfish, but I do, I wish things were easier for him, and and it would be easier on all of us. There are days that are really hard, like today, where he was just into everything and very destructive, and not wanting to talk a lot, but just throw a lot of tantrums and be like very, um, like shut off toward people. He was just really like shut off towards us. And like, I try to talk and be like, come here, buddy, let's play a game. Let's do a puzzle. And everything was just like, he was mad and he would throw the puzzle or, and usually he loves puzzles or he just would get irritated really easily. Um, and I don't, this is probably coming off as sounding like I don't love my child, and I do. I love him to pieces, and I don't want this to come off, you know, as like me not being grateful for my kids or any of that, because I'm very grateful for my kids, and I love him so much, but there are days like today where it is really hard, and it makes me want a very long vacation with no children <laughs> with me, because... It can be really hard and challenging and I'm exhausted at the end of the day. I today was counting down the hours to bedtime at like three o'clock this afternoon, which is ridiculous. Like I still had hours to go, but I was like, oh my gosh, is it bedtime yet? And it was only like three o'clock. And usually that's not the case. Usually it's you know, I can go hardly ever count down till bedtime, but today was one of those days where it was just like, Oh my goodness, is it bedtime yet? And it's those days are hard and it you know you add autism to it and it's like oh crud moly that was really rough and you know it's at the end of the day it's it doesn't even matter I still love my kids and still want to be their mom and I don't want to leave them and go on a long vacation I really don't I am gone for a day from them and I'm like I need my babies I need to hold them and I have a hard time with that and so I don't really want to go away for a long vacation, even though I would love to go on a vacation with them, but like, I don't want to just leave my kids, but there are days sometimes like today where it was like, oh goodness, that sounds so nice to just relax on a beach and not have to worry about where the kids are. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, today was just one of those really hard days and you know, just being completely real and honest in these vlogs, they come. Days like this come, and they're hard, and they're not fun, and they're very stressful, and it makes you just want to crawl into bed and not move. <laughs> and you obviously can't do that when you're a mom, and you have to just buck up and, you know, roll with the punches, and it's, yeah, just keep going. And... So I'm going to end the vlog so that I can edit it and go to bed. I'm exhausted and it's been a really long day and I need some sleep so that I can function tomorrow through whatever autism brings us because who knows what's going to happen. That's the thing is there's never been two days that have been the same things he's getting into or the same things he's doing naughty or whatever. It's always something different every day. Our days are never the same. They're always completely different from the day before and... It's just, 
you got to roll with the punches and take it as it comes and you know it's just life it's our life it's our crazy crazy life that y'all gonna be a part of because we're sharing it so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow bye